Hey everyone, Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. Have you ever heard uh, about an SMS provider saying they offer, you know, SMTP messaging or SMPP messaging? Well, you know, what's the difference? Well, luckily you have me here and I'm going to explain the difference uh, to you. Let's first look at SMTP messaging. Uh, that's the technical term. Some people call it, um, you know, email to SMS. I think that's the most popular term I'd say out there. What email to SMS, why, you know, that it's even around is, you know, back in the day before people had smartphones and they had email, you know, clients on their mobile phone, people were looking for ways to send, you know, they're at their computer, maybe at their office, and they were looking to send a text message via their computer, you know, to one of their friends. You know, it kind of like an email, but since they didn't have email on their mobile phone, the only way you could send something was via text message. But people on their computers had email. So what the carriers did is they came up with a protocol, SMTP, which would allow people to send an email from an email client, you know, like Gmail, let's say, and send it to a person's mobile phone. And even if they didn't have an app for, you know, email or an email client, uh, if they had, let's say, like a dumb phone or a feature phone with just text messaging, they could still receive that email. So what it looked like is, you know, somebody would sit at their desk, they would type an email, and what they would do is in the email form, they would put the person's mobile phone number that they were trying to reach and then at, and then they would append the, the domain that would be applicable to the person's mobile phone carrier. So, you know, here's my phone number, 206-334-4012 at uh, vtext.com. That'd be if I'm on Verizon, at and I think it's like at and dot com. You know, they, they mix them all up. Um, they're kind of confusing and they change all the time. So what somebody would do is they would, you know, type this into the, the to field. They would type subject and a message and then they'd send it off and then this person on their, you know, future phone would get it at the email as a text message. The problem is, is that was meant for this kind of communication, one to one, uh, peer to peer. What happened though is a lot of uh, SMS providers found out about this service and they started using it uh, for ways that weren't, you know, supposed to be used. Um, problems, is, there's four different problems. One is it's not approved by any cell phone carrier to send marketing messages to customers through the SMTP gateway. So there's no approval processes. That's why you see a lot of spam coming through SMTP because nobody has to look over it. Nobody gives it a stamp of approval. Um, and, you know, it's not approved by any cell phone carrier for SMS marketing purposes. Uh, number two, it's unreliable. Number, number one is that they always change these things up all the time. Uh, number two is you might not know, you know your customers, what carrier customers have. So if you type in the wrong one, you know, it's not gonna get there. Um, three, it was meant as a you know, peer to peer channel and peer to peer channels you know, are not maintained as well as they should be. And this is really a legacy uh, issue for the carriers, so they don't spend a lot of time maintaining uh, the SMTP gateway. Also, number three, it's slow. Uh, again, peer to peer really doesn't matter if it takes you know, five minutes to get a message out, but you know, if you use it for emergencies or you know, even you know, flash sales for your business, you know, it could take five, 15 minutes. It could take even 24 hours. I've seen some messages that go through very, very slow. And there's just really no telling, you know, how you know, fast or slow it'll get, you know, to your customers. Number four, it's unprofessional. Uh, what happens when the message come th comes through to your mobile phone, it looks very, you know, garbled. It comes from, you know, this phone number and it has a subject which has, you know, dash lines in it and then it has the message. It doesn't look like a professional, you know, SMS campaign. That's why, you know, in addition to it's just not approved by the cell phone carriers, you should not be using, you know, SMTP for your SMS marketing campaign. So if you can't use this one, what do you use? Well, it's pretty easy because there's only one other, you know, choice, which is what we call SMPP messaging. And really, you know, in the industry and, you know, in the real world, most people just call it short code messaging, which means it comes from a five to six digit phone number, like 68398. Uh, that's the tango, short code. So this one was meant for marketing purposes. A business would send out a message in mass to a lot of people. This one, again, one to one, this one, one to many. Um, 
Some of the things that make it uh, very, very good for SMS marketing is it's approved by the carriers. The carriers have approved and put their stamp of you know, approval on this campaign. Uh, it also makes sure that they're following you know, all the rules. So when you reply stop, when you reply help, you know, it gives you the pertinent information that a customer needs. These guys over here, you know, a lot of the times you reply stop to these messages, they don't opt you out of the campaign because they don't really care because nobody's really watching them or, or enforcing the rules. The rules over here are really enforced, so you know, it's definitely a much safer opportunity for your customers to opt into an SMPP campaign. It's more reliable. Uh, messages are given priority. Uh, also, uh, the SMS provider can tell if the actual message bounced or if it actually you know, hit the recipient's phone or if it didn't. So with this kind of thing, you can't tell. It just goes out into the ether. This kind of thing it actually will tell you if it actually you know, succeeded you know, uh, going to the mobile phone. Three, it's fast. Uh, you look at uh, like Tatango's short code and we use SMPP messaging. It sends out like five seconds and sends out in five seconds to like tens of thousands of people. It's very, very fast and it's consistent and it's consistently fast. Number four is professional. It comes from 68398. Uh, you can reply help, you can reply stop. The message looks really clean. It's the same type of you know, short code that is being used by you know, big brands uh, like McDonald's, uh, Old Navy, and then you know, political candidates are using these big you know, uh, brands and short codes. Um, also things like American Idol, it's the same type of phone number. So you as a small business you know, will feel like a big business using uh, SMPP messaging. Anyway, now you know the difference between SMTP messaging and SMPP messaging for SMS marketing. And really for SMS marketing, this is the only one that matters.